What's going on? It's your boy Jake coming at you with a Splatter Talk Cinema Review. This past week, Sid and I watched a bunch of movies. A movie a night on Tubi. Tubi is a channel where you can stream movies for free. Their link will be in the description below. Also, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a ton. With that being said, let's get into it. As we scroll through the vast variety of horror mediocrity, which is Tubi, I came across Dead Heist. This cover has hip-hop recording artist E-40, Big Daddy Kane, Bone Crusher, and some other dude who doesn't deserve any type of billing on the cover. The tagline reads, There is no such thing as a safe deposit. I must say, I was intrigued. What the hell could they possibly be doing? So Sin and I watched it. Directed by Bo Webb and released in 2007, this movie follows four guys as they plan a small town heist, but apparently pick the wrong night to do it. Everything goes fucking haywire after nightfall when vampire-like zombies attack the town, trapping them inside a small bank. I knew what I was in for when I chose this movie. If you look at the cover art, it looks as if someone put their heads on another body like they just pasted them on there. I knew it wouldn't be the best quality. I mean, IMDB gave it 3.8 for a reason. The acting was horrendous. Even for a straight to DVD standard, the acting was porn level quality. I'm here to provide you with a business opportunity though. Shit, last time you presented me with a business opportunity, Mac Henry went to jail and young Joe got shot in the finger. Bone Crusher played himself and was only in the movie for like five minutes acting like a plumber who came to the strip club. E-40 is my guy, but he brought his language to the movie, which confused the hell out of me and Sin. They getting down in the music industry, and they kicking their feet like they on fire, and they doing their thugs. There's a majigadelian, and they ain't taking risks no more. They taking percentages, and that's what the fuck I'm going to start doing. What the hell did you just say? Brandon Xavier played the head robber, and Big Daddy Kane played the townsman who knew everything about everything. They were so over the top for me, especially in parts where it didn't need to happen. It reminded me of a theater performer acting in front of a camera. Everything is projected, even their speech. The main guy, Axon, played by DJ Naylor, was cringeworthy. This man looked like a knockoff version of Vin Diesel. He must be the one from Wish.com or something. But not only was his acting trash, we were forced to stare at this man's nasty looking pierced nipples. It made him look like he had tits. It was very distracting for Sin and I. Watching this movie, I could see a little bit of From Dust Till Dawn in it. How they had plans, but then the plans quickly changed when fucking vampire zombies were trying to eat their ass. With a budget of $250,000, You'll get done with Dead Heist and ask yourself, what in the hell did they do with that budget? Buy coke with it? With a runtime of 80 minutes, I will give Dead Heist a flat fucking F. There is absolutely no redeeming qualities about this movie. The relationship between the lead and the love interest feels forced and it sucks ass. The robbers were cookie cutter gangsters. The direction that the writers took was crap. All in all, this movie is a rolling dumpster fire. It's a COVID-19 strand. Don't go near it. If you decide to check out Tubi, don't check this movie out. I promise you, it will be 80 minutes you will regret wasting. We appreciate you guys checking in and watching this review. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Comment and let me know what movie you want me to review next. This is your boy Jay, Splatter Talk Cinema Review. It's a wrap.